Good morning, students. Today is March thirtieth, Monday. For the mindfulness session this morning, I'll show you a video, and it's in Cantonese because today is Monday. So, 好啦，咁啊，各位同学早晨。咁咧，今朝咧个 mindfulness 嗰一部分咧，我系会诶俾一个短片大家睇嘅。咁就係由呢個方濟會嘅伍修士啦，佢喺疫情之中咧製作咗一系列嘅短片嘅，咁佢鼓勵咧同學們咧喺呢個疫情之中咧去學習去依靠天主啦。咁而喺呢個短片裏面咧，佢亦都帶領咗咧、呃、小朋友咧去做一個默圖啦。咁啊，鼓勵大家咧點樣咧同病毒兄弟咧和平共處嘅。好闷啊，好闷啊！已经过咗三个星期，又嚟唔知几多日，每日都系口罩、洗手，唔准出街。呀！姑别仔，学我咁，都系做木土啦。吓、啊，好啦，等我试下啦。好，我哋一齐做啊。哦。唉，方济啊，我一眯埋眼呢，就谂起口罩，跟住就会讲咗唔好再戴口罩，唔好再戴口罩，唔好再戴口罩啊！姑姐仔，其实咁好正常嘅。嗱，深呼吸，一谂起口罩啊，洗手啊，就。千祈唔好谂住佢，专注喺心里面，纵念我的天主，我的万有。哦、呃，任何其他嘢都唔好理佢。好啊，千祈唔好理佢。嗱，我哋再试下啦。好，我哋一齐再做。喂，喂，姑别仔。你覺得點啊？我係少咗啲分心嘅，不過，唉，其實咧，依家又有疫情，點解仲要做物圖啊？嗯，你問得好好啊。其實我哋喺物圖嘅時候，放下一切，專心投靠天主，咁樣，我哋物圖完之後，繼續放下一切。专心投靠天主咯。哦，咁好啦。诶、呃，虽然我哋唔喺学校，不过喺屋企都可以一样做木头嘅。系啊，嗱，而家我哋一齐再做木头啊。好啊，咁咧我哋要坐定定，背脊垂直，乜都唔好谂，心里面净系专注重念。我的天主，我的万有。好，咁一于咧，等我自己停课喺屋企，都要日日做木头先。好啊。嘿。So today I'll show you a video, a story about Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead, and、uh, we'll say a prayer regarding that. And because it's Monday today, so I will say the prayer in Cantonese. 因父及子及圣神之名，阿门。耶稣基督在复活拉扎录的事迹中启示了：我就是复活，就是生命。求主恩赐所有患病者身心的痊愈，分享主耶稣由苦难进入新生命的奥迹。为此，我哋念一篇天主经。我们的天父，愿你的名受显扬，愿你的国来临，愿你的旨意奉行在人间，如同在天上。求你今天赏给我们日用的食粮，求你宽恕我们的罪过，如同我们宽恕别人一样。不要让我们陷于诱惑，但救我们免于凶恶。阿门。因父及子及圣神之名，阿门。
Today's story is Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. Today's story is about a man named Lazarus. The Bible says that Lazarus was sick. Mary and Martha, the sisters of Lazarus, took care of him when he was sick. Even though Mary and Martha took good care of their brother Lazarus, he kept getting sicker and sicker. So they sent, so they sent someone to tell Jesus that his good friend Lazarus was very sick. And I'll show you a video, then you'll find out what happened at last. Stories of the Bible Jesus Raises Lazarus from the Dead This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus's sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I don't know. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, yeah, you'll be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, so Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there, for now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, See how much he loved him? But some said, This man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside, 
Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me. But I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. So Jesus' plan of raising Lazarus from the dead showed his power over not only sickness, but death. This story tells us that Jesus sees what is happening to us. He cares about us when we are upset about something. He loves us even when he allows bad things to happen to us. So that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.